Hey guys, so we got here with August favorites. I wasn't even gonna do this video just because I do have a ton of videos I wanna put up for you guys within the next few weeks. I hope you guys can ignore this little pimple that's decided to join us in the video today sitting right here on my cheek. I tried to cover it up, but girl, that is not really working, so we're just gonna have to deal. So shit happens, right? So let's just get into this August favorite. So the first thing should be no surprise. It is the eyeshadow palette that I have been wearing all month. Well, actually, there's two that I'm going to show you, and I've been wearing either one of the two, but the most used is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. Oh my gosh, this palette. Literally, I knew it would get so much use from me, but I cannot put this freaking palette down this month. The colors are just so perfect. Everything is so pigmented, and believe it or not, I have played with these two brighter colors here as well. Today, of course, I'm wearing this palette. Again, I have Caramel and Morocco through my crease, Deep Plum on my lid, and Glisten a little bit in the inner corner with some MAC shadows, but I just incorporate this with other shadows. I wear it on its own. It's the perfect fall palette. Blends really nicely, and I think for $29, like you need to find this. Get your hands on it. Anastasia Amrezy palette. You guys did so well with that, so I am obsessed. So then the second palette, I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did, but it's literally the second thing that's been on my eyes. I've just rotated off between these two for the last month, and it is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. My last two videos, I think I was wearing this one, so if you guys want to see this one in action, check it out. You guys all know what it looks like. Honestly, these shadows are just amazing. The first Lorac Pro palette is actually one of my favorite palettes of all times, just because the formula of any Lorac shadow I've tried is amazing and you only really need this palette and the other one to do full looks. If you don't have any of the Lorac Pro palettes, I highly, highly, highly recommend them because they are just amazing and you can't mess up blending with them, especially if you guys are a beginner with eyeshadow. So those have been my two eyeshadow loves. Actually, I lied to you. There are three palettes that I've rotated between my eyes. This last one here was limited edition, but this, oh my god, this cannot stay off my eyes either. It is the Sharon Osborne Duchess Quad from MAC that came out in the Sharon Osborne collection. Although I feel these colors are pretty dupable, this is just the perfect quad to wear everywhere, every day, with every lip color. So I've been using this a lot because it is so warm and coppery, and now we're transitioning into fall and fall makeup, which is exciting. Not fall, but fall makeup's exciting. If you guys can still find this, I don't know, you might find it at a CCO, on eBay. I highly recommend this because this you can just put it in your, pal in your palette. It is a palette. You can put it in your pocket no you can put it in your bag wow and then you will have a full eye look like this is all you would need again to create a full eye look and I love palettes like that but where you don't have to reach into other single shadows or anything to get your whole eye look because there's mattes there's shimmers you name it wow get it together girl I also really quickly want to talk about something that has been like blowing me away. It's been in my makeup routine every day. It is the Anastasia Contra Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her custom refills. Now, if you go check out my last video, I did a whole review on this product with swatches, talk more about it. So I don't want to mention that too much. I just wanted to tell you guys that I have that video, but I have used this every day since I got it in the month of um, July, I guess. Or was it August? Wow, well, I can't even keep it together. Every day in the month of August because my Bahama Mama bronzer which you guys know I've been using forever to contour with finally shattered it ran out and I needed new contour powders seriously flawless the highlight shades flawless also in the month of August I played around with false lashes you guys know I don't usually ever wear false lashes the reason I kind of stayed away from lashes in the past is not because I'm too lazy but actually because the drugstore lashes that I always used to try or the MAC lashes I just found they never sat right on my eye and never looked right and now I realize this month that is because I have freakishly long eyes so those lashes are always it's like an inner third of my eye there's a whole third of my eye that it doesn't sit on the lash kind of starts in the middle of my eye and then if I want to keep it at the end so it never fits my whole eye shape they're just too short so obviously um, I have the shorter lashes in the inner corner that never blend right so fast forward to this month I placed an order just not knowing for some velour lashes I wanted to try mink lashes because I also think mink lashes are beautiful and if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go big or go home once you guys go mink you're never gonna go back I tell you anyway I'm totally rambling so I placed an order for velour lashes these things are so long they fit my entire eye shape I don't even have to trim velour lashes which is pretty funny because everyone and their mother on YouTube says how oh my god the lashes wasted I have to trim so much off girl my eyes are so long that these just fit my eyes straight out of the box and so I have been loving them today I am wearing a pair I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell because the camera might not pick up because I'm far away I'm wearing the lash in the city pair but the pair that I want to talk to you guys about that is my absolute favorite is the girl you crazy style oh my god these are like the perfect 
perfect lashes right here this is girl you crazy they are wispy they are full they've got a crisscross pattern on them so the base of them is really thick and luscious but then the tips of them are just long and wispy you've got your spiky lashes in there too these can be worn and reused up to 25 times so I have used these a bunch of times and you can see they still look brand new you just got to take care of them so I do want to do a video about mink lashes in general because I have ordered mink lashes from a few other companies that I'm waiting to come in the mail but girl you crazy has been my absolute hands down favorite lash it just looks good with any makeup look you want to do I think this is a style that will suit many people because it's not too much it's just oh, they're just perfect I love them and the mink oh, honestly like some people couldn't even tell they were false lashes they just thought they were my lashes because they're just so freaking amazing moving on to blushes I have three blushes to show you the first is an oldie but goodie and I talk about this like all the time like periodically I at least talk about this once every year in a video it is the NARS orgasm blush <laughs> so pretty this does have slightly more reddish undertones so if you guys don't want to pull like a little bit rosy and red toned on the cheek I would say go for deep throw which you guys know is my all-time favorite blush but I love that kind of reddish tone to your cheeks I have that today it's not Nars orgasm on my cheeks today but I think it looks really great with warm toned eyes especially now we are transitioning to fall it looks great also with smoky eyes deeper makeup just to have that little bit of color to your cheeks so I have reached for this one a lot and another one keeping on with the red tones is by Hourglass it is the diffused heat blush not even gonna talk about the formula on this because I beat this to death like I beat the horse made it come alive again beat it back dead because you guys know this is like my favorite blush formula diffused heat is a gorgeous it mixes together to be a kind of coral color but a more red tone coral so it pulls slightly red toned on the cheeks it's not as peachy pink as Nars orgasm this is a really brightening blush too it's really flattering and there's no apparent shimmer it's just flawless so this one I have used a lot too okay this is kind of random but I have a hair product to talk to you guys about usually my hair care routine stays the exact same I don't try too many new products and I have an all about my hair video up on my channel because it is something I get a ton of questions about but honestly my hair routine is the simplest routine of life however I saw a lot of people on YouTube talking about this brand here sold at Sephora Agave and so I ended up I was placing an order for something else and I got their sample kit now the only thing that I ended up loving and loving 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 from the kit was the healing oil treatment now I really really love oils for your hair I always use one before blow drying and before flat ironing not like every day but every time I've done a fresh wash I'll just rub a pea sized amount in my hands and smooth it through my hair just to give it extra luster and also to help um, protect it from the heat a little bit too so this just makes my hair shaft really smooth I have drier hair obviously as a lot of people with my hair texture will have but it just hydrates the hair it seals the ends it also makes your hair flat iron so easily like you barely have to pass the flat iron over it and you get such silky smooth like at the roots just perfect straight hair now all the rest of these products are lip products <laughs> you guys know I'm like a lip product junkie like I mean everyone's pretty much a lip product junkie but I am a lip product junkie like I just said first of all let's start off with the lip combination that is giving me life I get asked what it is every time I wear it on Instagram or in real life and it is just gonna be so flattering on every skin tone so it is max world lip liner you guys saw I picked this up in my last haul this lip liner is so creamy so gorgeous it's like a mauvey brownie um, color and then on top oh my god this is like my favorite MAC lipstick of the minute let me just take a moment like velvet teddy is freaking amazing this one here is a nude but it's a darker nude it's a more brown toned nude with a little bit of mauve it's really similar to world lip liner not as mauve and plum more on the brown side this is like a better nude than cherish a better nude than sis like forget those lipsticks it is all about velvet teddy right now on my lips this just gives me the perfect nude shade it's medium tone not too light not too dark it's really defined on the lips it is freaking perfect I'll enter a picture of me wearing these two then we have girl about town lipstick mm, I use this also in my last get ready with me I've been loving the hot pink lips it's really creamy it's not too shiny it glides on gorgeously and I think this is amazing with dark hair as you can see you can also see it in action on that video of mine my get ready with me it's a little bit deeper than your traditional hot pink so I prefer it a lot more for fall so I can still be rocking this I'll still be rocking this you guys know and then lastly I just might gag in excitement over this like mm -hmm, I am dying this is new to me like it's only like a week and a week and a half old so I wasn't gonna show it but I doubt that I will be doing a haul so I want to show you guys and talk about it because I have used this 
Oh my god, this is like my favorite lipstick. Let me just shut up. This is one of the new NARS Audacious lipsticks. You guys know NARS came out with their Audacious lipstick line. There are 40 lipsticks. And let me tell you, this is my new favorite lipstick formula. Hands down, it is everything I want in a lipstick. So I picked up one to start with because they are expensive. They're $37 here in Canada. But girl, you know I'm running back to the store to get more. So I picked up the shade Raquel. And it is this gorgeous pinky beige nude shade. Oh, it's what's on my lips today. Can't stop wearing it. But the formula on these is amazing. I have never been the biggest fan of NARS lip colors just because they're okay. They're just not standout to me. And also the packaging is amazing. It's like this matte, like sleek black and it's magnetic. Mm -hmm. So you do get like true high end packaging. Anyway, the formula on this, let me tell you guys, it is creamy but it is not super shiny. It is full coverage, so one swipe is just gonna give you opaque coverage over your lips. I say it all the time, I have the most pigmented lips of life. This covered them, seriously, just one swipe on the bottom, one swipe on the top, I was good to go. Today, I topped it with the Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream lips, uh, Lipstick Lip Gloss, Color Small Lip Gloss. These two are the perfect complement, seriously. Buttercream is pretty much the color of Raquel, so if you guys wanna gloss over it, I usually like to wear a gloss when I'm filming because I'm doing a lot of talking so my lips are moving together a lot so it just kind of helps amp everything up but um, this can be worn alone. It's pigmented enough and beautiful enough to be worn alone and doesn't show lip lines or flakes but that's my combination today. But yeah guys that is it. That is everything that I want to talk to you guys about this time for August favorites. I'm gonna go edit this really quickly now so I can get it up today because it's already the 2nd of September and I don't like doing them too late. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys' favorite products are down below. I expect to be seeing a lot of this face over the next few weeks because I will be filming a ton. I've got like a list of videos about this long to film for you guys that I want to put up. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Me and my pimple are out. Peace out. Bye, guys.